Hello, and welcome back to After Effects and You. In today's project, I'll be teaching you how to create a mask in a selection and putting a video inside of it. Now, before I actually begin, I'll explain what a mask is. A mask in After Effects is a path or outline that is used to modify layer effects and properties. The most common use of masks is to modify a layer's alpha channel. A mask consists of segments and vertices. Segments are the lines or curves that connect vertices. Vertices define where each segment of a path starts and ends. A mask can be either an open or a closed path. An open path has a beginning point that is not the same as its end point. For example, a straight line is an open path. A closed path is continuous and has no beginning or end. For example, a circle is a closed path. Closed path masks can create transparent areas for a layer. Open paths, however, cannot. There are four different mask types that it can be used. Rectangular, elliptical, bezier, and rotobezier. For this exercise, I'll mainly be using rectangular and elliptical shapes. Okay, now to begin. What I'm going to try to do is try to put in the dmc 4 vidmove file into this computer screen by using a mask. In order to create a mask, first we must select the office mask.move layer in the office mask timeline and go to the pen tool. Taking the pen tool, I'm going to click on each of the corners of this computer screen to create vertices and click on the first vertice to close the selection. We've successfully created a mask within the selection. However, everything is the opposite of what we want it to be. The inside is shown, but everything else is invisible, or in this case, transparent. We don't want that. So the next step is to go to the office mask and go under the mask properties, click the inverted checkbox here, and now everything is the opposite. The inside is transparent while everything else is not. While it might seem like everything's fine, it actually isn't. If I zoom in, notice that the, televi the computer screen shows right here. Unfortunately, we don't want that. So I'm going to go to the selection tool and click on the vertice to move it. ever so slightly and that should do it right there we'll zoom back out and reposition it using the hand tool and there we go we now have our intended mask effect We'll soften the edges just a bit. In order to do that, all we have to do is go under Composition, Background Color, click the color swatch, and select White, and then click OK. Now, it looks fine, but you'll notice that it's very, very hard-edged. In order to create a more realistic feel, we'll actually feather the edges or soften them just a bit. With the office mask layer selected, I press the F key on my keyboard in order to show the mask feather property. From here, I'll click on here and increase the feathering effect by 1.5 and click enter. Now when I deselect, it's a little bit softer. I'll just zoom in to show you. You notice how? It's nice and soft. That's exactly what I want. Okay, now that I've actually softened the edge, it's time to add the selection. I'll put the DMC4 vid from the project panel into the timeline panel here. Now when you look, you can see that it's directly in the project. With it placed in the composition, I'll use the hand tool, although in this case I'm going to use the selection tool, to move so that the center anchor point is right in the middle of the screen. Unfortunately, it's not quite where we want it to be. So, in order to do that, we need to make this layer into a 3D layer. In order to do that, 
I'll click on the icon here to make that layer 3D. 3D layers are layers that have three-dimensional properties. They move along X, Y, and Z axes. As you can see right here, the X axis determines whether it will go left or right, the Y up and down, and the new Z axis depends on whether it goes forward or backward in the three-dimensional space. For this particular video, it's pretty long in terms of the size. It might not fit on the computer screen, so I'm going to move it over just a tad this way, up a little bit. More importantly, we're going to zoom out just a bit. And you can keep doing this. When you put it over the blue arrow in particular, the z-axis appears, and then you can move it around. Maybe we'll put that back a little bit. Unfortunately, it's not going to fix the problem. Now the challenge is to rotate it in order to, for it to fit the screen. In order to do that, we're going to change the Y rotation value, which is up and down, as it will rotate on this vertice. As you can see, it determines how far it will go. So I'll put it right about here. And we'll change the X rotational value just a tad. And let's just position this a bit right about there's a lot of stuff to do but for now this will be fine deselect and there we have what we need we'll just move the work duration area to here and click a spacebar preview well there you have it now have a video playing inside the computer screen as the girl watches well, that's all for today. If you want to see more videos, visit my channel at After Effects and You.